Hey, I'm Fight the Flat Earth and welcome back to the channel that drops a toaster in Stupidity's Bath. Today, we're doing something a little different. Logan Paul just released his, um, I want to say documentary, but it just doesn't feel like the right word. We call it a mockumentary, okay? Anyway, back in November last year, when I first started my channel, Logan Paul, you know, the guy with a face like a foot, he popped up at the Flat Earth International Conference 2018 and said this. I guess, I guess I'm, I'm, I'm not ashamed to say my name is Logan Paul and I, I think I'm coming out of the Flat Earth closet. <laughs> this caused Mark Can't Find the Start Button Sergeant to storm out of the conference as he was no longer the headline act and brought the Flat Earth to the attention of his 18 million, mostly children, subscribers. I made this video about his speech then, and now a few months later, he brings out this 50 minute long video about his apparent journey. So, let's take a look at this clusterfuck. Warning, spoilers ahead for the worst movie ever. We're living on a disc, floating through space, with a tiny sun. Yeah. Find the Find the Find the So let's get the positives out of the way first. The production value is incredible, the soundtrack is easy to listen to, and that intro logo is, is pretty wicked. But that's it. That's all there is. Okay, fine, I'll give it one more positive. Uh, it was less than an hour long, so I didn't have to spend too much time watching it. Anyway, the movie, I don't like calling it that, or documentary, I, you know, I'll just call it a clusterfuck. This clusterfuck starts with Logan Paul talking about conspiracy theories with some catchy, dramatic music before cutting to a totally not staged video. Okay guys, that is it for the video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you next time. Take it easy, fam. Alright. That was good. That was dope. Solid. Dope video. Good stuff. Good, good stuff. stuff. Good stuff, boys. Uh, yo, can I talk to you for a sec? Yeah. Just, you good? Yeah. All right. All right. Good. Hey, uh, did you ever think, I don't know, did you ever think for a second that, like, the world, the earth, it might be flat? Hmm? I don't know, just like all, like, everything that NASA tells us, like, about the earth being round, like, could be just like a huge lie, a cover up. What, what are you saying right now, dog? Evan is on the verge of death. This is the worst acting I've ever seen. And I've watched Tyra Reed in all of the Sharknado movies. And I love how this private conversation is happening in front of at least two cameras. Let's see what happened next. Okay, so this seemed a little weird, but then Mike brought it up to me off camera. This is security footage of an actual conversation that took place at 10 p.m. Hey, did you, uh, did you think about what I said to you all the other day? Um, <clears throat> the whole, like, uh, when the earth not being around, I mentioned it, like, when we're shooting that ball. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, I haven't thought about that, because, uh, that's the dumbest thing I've heard in my life. Right, so he has security cameras all over his house that just happen to be in a perfect position to capture this totally not scripted outburst. His friend seems pretty riled up. Shall we see how angry he apparently is? Yo, is that Mike? What the fuck is he doing? <laughs> I cannot believe this. After witnessing my good friend Mike, someone who I've known for years, professional, corporate, level-headed Mike go on an unprovoked 4 a.m. globe-smashing rampage, it finally hit me like a pile of Pangean rocks. Mike is a flat earther. So Mike is a flirt. And you've been friends with him for how long? None of this is even the slightest bit believable. Now, shall we hear Mike's reason for being a flurf? So my name is Mike Malak, um, and when I was younger, my dad <clears throat> used to be a contractor for the U.S. government, Department of Defense. Used to do jobs everywhere, all over the country, internationally. But one of the jobs he got was actually in Antarctica. 
Occasionally he would take us on the trips. He would take my mom and my my little sister and uh, you know we all went as a family and you know he would work during the day. My mom would kind of hang out around the around the cabin and there were other families on the base and you know we would all just kind of hey my sister would play around outside. So we were playing outside and you know there were signs everywhere. US government, military, do not pass. So we just kind of did whatever. We like snuck past them and we were like just walking around and uh, and like I just, something like caught my eye and I, I just kept kind of walking further and further. And um, that was the first time that, that, that was the first time that I saw it in person. What did you see? That was the first time I saw the edge of the earth. When me and my sister, you know, kind of approached the side and looked over, it was just basically stardust, the cosmos. Just stars as far as the eye could see. I mean, just stunning. And that was the first time, you know, that I really got an understanding. We've been lied to. We've been lied to. After me and my sister had, had gone for the first time, then we wanted to tell all the other kids, you know how kids are, right? And so there's this one kid that I, I became real, real good friends with. His name was P. He had flat feet and... Um... So it was at this point I stopped taking this seriously at all and started seeing the parody. The only person who might believe this satire is Ali B, but he's an extra level idiot. Watch my debate with him here. He couldn't figure out the difference between velocity and acceleration. But as if to drive the point home that this is a massive troll, he said this next. And so there's this one kid that I, I became real, real good friends with. His name was P. He had flat feet and um, he kind of hobbled around when he walked. Um, but we struck up this relationship and uh, he was my best friend. We were just playing and We were just playing. He was just rolling up another snowball, but he got too close to the side and I told him, I said, Pete, be careful. All I heard him say was, ah. <laughs> he was gone. <laughs> I honestly just wanted to turn it off at this point, but curiosity got the better of me. So next, after Mike does some scientific experiments. Here we have a model of the fantasy world that you two believe exists. If gravity exists the way that you two say it does, and the earth is round, when you're driving your car down the street, how come this doesn't happen? Logan Paul and his minions were off on a plane to Denver for the Flat Earth International Conference 2018, where they met up with the organizer and promoter of FEIC, Robbie Davison. What's, what's up, up dude? How are you? Good, man. Nice to meet you. Nice what's to my friend, Mike? Hey, what's up, Robbie? Mike? Nice to meet you. Yeah, Mike. Nice to meet dude, you. Dude, you're going to rock your mind, man. It's going to blow your mind. Just I'm, go in I'm with right, I, mind. That's what I want. Ask all the hard yeah. questions to everyone. Man, they're going to like just love the fact that you just open. Thank awesome. You, Thank, Thank you, man. bro. Thank you. How do you yeah. feel? So crazy, bro. Yo, you fanboy. I was, dude, I was... <laughs> Robbie looks so happy that Logan Paul is here. I wonder how he feels after watching this clusterfuck. And look at Mike, fanboying out. I'd love Mike to tell Robbie his story about his friend falling off the edge. Ah! Anyway, so they spend some time at the conference where a completely and honestly not staged meeting happens between Footface and some Australian flat earth girls. I prefer okay. to awesome. It's having eaten so freaking long. Oh shit. Do you think hot, hot flat earth girls? Don't mind if I do. Come on. Hey guys. Hi. Hi. Are you guys, are you guys flat earthers? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Are you? I'm here for some Yeah, I've been here a long time. Really? Yeah, Sorry about the giant cameras in your yeah, face. Yeah, what's going on here, guys? We're shooting a documentary. Oh, you are? Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Exactly you have an accent? Yeah. Where are you from? We're Australian. Oh, my, my friend is a flat earther too. Hi. Yeah. Nice, nice to meet you. you. Nice, nice to meet you. Cool. <laughs> you're, so you're not here as like a joke? No, no. 
Not at all. I live in Australia, so like. And you flew here just for this? Well, I live in LA now, but um, I was just visiting. She was visiting, so we flew over. That's cool. All right, so like, all right, can I ask you like? Why do you think the Earth is flat? Yeah. The only reason people like to think that it's round is because like the shape of your eyes is round. You can uh, see that it's straight. Oh, oh. Yeah. Oh, oh. yeah. So it takes a turn here and becomes some kind of rom-com as Logan Paul literally says he is falling in love with her. And they spend some time holding hands, wearing matching tops and lying under the stars together. Oh, and he takes her to a five-star restaurant called Applebee's. Do you have uh, Applebee's in Australia? I don't think so. Well, welcome, I've never seen it. welcome to the beautiful, beautiful restaurant of Applebee's. I'm from Ohio, so it's kind of like a delicacy. Is it? Yeah. Interesting. And then we get to Logan's speech. As I said earlier, I covered this when I first started my channel back in November. But let's have a look at it again. I'm going to introduce Logan Paul. Brother. Thank you. Thank you, Robbie. Thank you, everyone. So I consider myself a man of truth, uh, someone who hates being ignorant. I try my best to avoid being ignorant. And the fact that, you know, we haven't been to the moon in, what, over 50 years? The fact that uh, the moon emits its own light. Some of their best scientists can't, they can't explain gravity. Neil deGrasse Tyson, uh, Bill Nye. At the end of the day, do they even know? And uh, so I wanted to come here and, and explore for myself, do my best to keep an open mind. And uh, you guys have been amazing, made a lot of amazing relationships. Hopefully, you know, some relationships that will last long into the future. I'm sure you guys know there's a stigma. There's a stigma with being a flat earther. And if, if I'm gonna do it, I wanna know, I wanna know the facts. I guess, I guess I'm, I'm, I'm not ashamed to say my name is Logan Paul and I, I think I'm coming out of the flat earth closet. No, you never were, were you? Look at the smirk on your face. You struggled not to piss yourself laughing whilst on that stage. And you even finished with a perfect demonstration of gravity. So anyway, it seemed the entire catalyst for Logan becoming a flirt was his friend, Mike. Well, Let's have another look at a private conversation between just the two of them that just happened to be in front of a camera whilst they were wearing microphones. Yo, what's good? What? Everyone's upstairs. What? I don't even know how to say this right now, bro. Say I'm not, bro, I'll, I'm not a flat earther. I'm not a flat earther, dude. <laughs> Stop it. Get that man a fucking Oscar right now. My God, that was an incredible display of acting skills. So Logan has a freak out and runs around naked for some reason. And that pretty much sums it up. And so I suppose I should review it. Well, as a piece of entertainment and even though there were some genuinely funny bits, my overall score for it would be four out of 10. Maybe it's just because I find Logan Paul loathsome and hard to watch, but as for it being a troll on Flat Earth, 10 out of 10. There were some Flat Earthers genuinely happy that such a big popular figure came out as a flirt so publicly and they must be so mad. But my big issue with this is that some of the 18 million subs that he has will now go and look into Flat Earth and be swayed by the amount of stupidity that there is presented as facts. And that's just wrong. I know my audience isn't kids and I don't make these videos for kids, but Logan Paul does. What was the biggest thing we learned about Logan Paul during all of this? No. Do you feel like you have a small dick? Yeah, in a roundabout way. And that's all we have time for today. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss anything from FTFE. A massive amount of love to my patrons. Your support gives me the ability to focus on this full time and I can never thank you enough for that. An extra massive special thank you to Marvel Girl. Remember, stupidity is not a right. Fight the flat. Fight the flat. Fight the flat.